What is going on today, guys? How you doing? Today, we are gonna take on a very important topic on this channel that I feel is like waging war on YouTube. It's a small war, it's nothing like super serious, but I, th I think it's really, really interesting that we talk about it on this channel. Especially for those that are newer to my channel, you need to know about this. The question that we are going to talk about today is, is a hair system better than being bald? Or the inverse, is being bald better than having a hair system? Now, the reason I think this is a really important question is because it feels like there's these this duality that's pulling uh, these two types of men apart, right? There's like, hey, um, I am going to completely remove my hair or I'm going to try to save my hair. And of course, there's hair transplants, there's drugs, in the middle of that argument but these are really kind of like the two extremes if you will i feel like right so in one side of the camp everyone is saying it's better if you were willing to let go of you know your hair balding all this kind of stuff remove it as an obstacle from your life that way you can go on be liberated bald is beautiful all this kind of stuff over here on the other side of the camp is people who are saying that you need to maintain your hair uh, hair is more beautiful than being bald it is more evolutionarily attractive to have hair and no one will like you if you don't have hair so what's my opinions on this you know I have the I don't even want to call it the luxury of, of this, but I'm like a Z class celebrity, right? Inside of the hair system, the, uh, the hair loss space. Like people watch this channel, there's a couple other channels. So I think it's important I give my opinion here. Now you might think that my immediate answer, because I wear a hair system in this channel is specifically right now more with hair system content that I'm gonna say that having a hair system is better. Here's the thing, you'd actually be wrong with assuming that about me. Now, I actually completely disagree with the sentiment that having a hair system is somehow better than being bald. Um, and I really, really want to explain why this is. Now, there are many different types of men out there in the world that we've had different experiences, different lives, different upbringings, different things that we're sensitive to, different identities, really. And that brings me to the important point right here. Uh, hair, the way you look, your aesthetic, your your appearance is so inherently linked to your identity. Why is it that as teenagers, right, people start segregating themselves into niches generally, so that way they fit a certain archetype or a certain way of being, right? You have the jocks, you have the emo kids, you have the wallflowers, you have the artistic type, you have the drama kids, you have the music kids, that all somehow find a way to kind of look similar, act similar, be similar right? We want to fit into a group. This is a basic psychological evolutionary thing that we have developed over thousands and thousands of years. So appearance is part of this identity, right? And if we extrapolate it into the subject of is a hair system better? Is it bald, being bald better? There's really no, there's no better. There's no, this is better than that. It's a question of what community do you want to fit into? Where, what do you need to do to feel most aligned with who you truly are? Now, however, I don't think that being bald versus having a hair system or having hair is two unique camps. I think a lot of times what happens when people are sensitive about an issue is they project their insecurities and the inverse of the choice that they personally made as being the better choice and therefore any other choice, the opposite choice, as being extreme, as being radical, as being nonsensical, and therefore they other the other group. This is something that has been studied in every facet of life. In groups, people that are in a group, and often the popular group, the predominant group, they other other groups. What that means is they one-dimensionalize them down to a single characteristic, a single way of being, a single ideology that they think that they believe. Now, and this is very, very damaging to everyone, to societal connections, to feeling empathy for other people, but it also damages the other group that the in-group is talking about. So on our channel right here, the in-group is those that wear hair systems. We are the predominant watchers of my channel. 
on somewhere like Bald Cafe or a channel that leans more towards, hey, go shave your head, they are the in-group, we are the other. Now, this is completely flawed, from my opinion, especially with the intent of this channel. The intent of this channel is not to get you in a hair system. The intent of this channel is to one, destigmatize hair loss, and number two, help you become a better man in every facet of your life. So I bring this up because I constantly get comments on this channel, like this one right here that says, bald headed men of the world unite. No rugs, plugs, or drugs for us. Is that hair, hat, dishwasher safe, by the way? Listen, probably meant to be funny, probably meant to not stir up anything, but this type of comment does not lift up other men. This comment others us, right? He, this person has come to this channel to specifically other and degrade people who have made a different choice than this gentleman has made. And that's not okay. That's not okay. It just isn't. It's okay that he's chosen to be bald. It's okay that he feels that's the best choice for him. And I agree, it probably is the best choice for him unless he's too insecure to deal with the things that he's got inside of his own head and he wishes that he had hair. I don't know. That's not for me to judge. I don't know the guy. However, this is really, really abhorrent behavior and stuff that's really, really damaging to men as a whole. We need to be lifting one another up and realizing that there's not one single way of being that is the best way of being for all of us. We need to understand we come from different places. We need different things. We want different things in life and that's okay. That's this, this whole like this or that is the same as saying, uh, Jake, over here says that living in the mountains in Utah is better in anybody that lives in Florida, which is where I used to live, by the way. Anybody who lives in Florida is crazy, insane, doesn't have their head straight for some reason is less than who I am. They're less intelligent, they're less smart, they're less, um, they're less cool, right? None of that makes any sense. There's different strokes for different folks. There's different ways of being. And with the topic of hair, hair loss, it's very, very sensitive. This is something that evolutionarily has actually really been important. The topic of hair does signify virility. It signifies uh, being able to bear children. It's a signifier of um, reproductive health. Right, so that's why it's such a heated topic. If it if it didn't matter, it wouldn't matter. If that makes any sense, um, but because it does, and because that is obviously not the only indicator of attraction, virility, reproductive health, um, it's it's an outdated thing. But it's still deeply linked into our psychology, and it's something that we can't ignore. It's similar to our nutrition. Right. Um, at one time, things that were very, very sweet meant that there was a high nutritional content inside of that food. Berries, for example, when we found berries, when we were searching for food and they were so sweet, it triggered our brain to explode in pleasure because of the sugar, which was instant access to carbohydrates, instant access to sugar, which allowed us to have more energy. Therefore, we were programmed to seek it out. But now, refined sugars, sugars in food are killing us. They are hijacking our brain, the programming that we have inside of it because of the fact that it has been so blown out of proportion and manipulated. So there's some things that just don't serve us anymore as a belief system or a way of being. With hair, it's very, very similar. Do we need it to survive? Do we absolutely need it to be attractive? Do we need it to signify that we are healthy and can we, we can reproduce? No, we don't need it. But it is still linked into identity, a personal choice that you or I or anybody else makes. And because of that, it's a deeper psychological issue and to villainize one group over the other to say that hair systems are better than being bald or being bald is better than hair systems or hair transplants are the best way to be. You're, you're not only hurting other people, you're not helping yourself. What I would say is take a look at yourself and find 
compassion for the other way of being. Try to understand why someone might make a separate choice than you. Because it's only when we come together that we can start to tackle this hair loss destigmatization issue. It's not gonna be something that we can do by saying hair systems are the only way of being and anybody else who chooses anything different is fallacious or uh, wrong or somehow less than. It's just not gonna happen. The only way forward is if we go together on this journey and accept our brothers who are experiencing a similar issue but have ultimately chosen a different path. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, more psychological, more motivational content, hit the like, subscribe button down below, be a part of the community, comment. I respond to just about every single comment. Anyways, guys, have a great day and we will see you soon.